Hello? Who's there? Blood and guts again. Blood and guts every day. Doesn't anybody just throw up anymore? Oh, an arm. I heard the school cost an arm and a leg, but this is ridiculous. Greetings, everyone. It's Halloween. The Brooklyn Public Library and Friends of the Macon Library proudly present Masquerade on Macon, the mystery of the Full Moon Academy. First day. Is it that obvious? Don't worry about it. You're going to like it here. I'm Stella. I'm Dario. This place seems a little weird. Oh, it is. That's why it's great. Attention, everyone. Attention. Thank you. I am Miss Huntington. Miss Mockingbird has decided to take a leave of absence for personal reasons. Who's Miss Mockingbird? Our headmistress. She's the best. I know how much you love Miss Mockingbird, and I'm sure she will be back soon. In the meantime, I will assume all of her duties here at Full Moon Academy. This isn't like Miss M. She's never even taken a sick day. Moving on, I know we have all been concerned. So, I wanted to take today's assembly as an opportunity to address and hopefully ease any fears amongst the Full Moon Academy community and to clear up some of the wild rumors I've been hearing. These fanciful stories about a werewolf should stop right now. Werewolf? Yeah. Funny how every attack happens on a full moon. That stuff only happens in movies. These were simply animal attacks. Probably an unleashed dog. More like Cujo. Still, in the interest of safety, Full Moon Academy will be instituting a buddy system. Going forward, every student will travel with their buddy at all times. Take a moment to look under your seat for the name of your assigned buddy. Marty Coleslaw, I'll be the laughing stock of Full Moon Academy. Kate Wrightson, she's the biggest bully in school. Now, take a moment to introduce yourself to your buddy. Hi. Whatever. One last thing. We have some new members of our faculty this term. Dr. Jekyll? Hello, students. We are both looking forward to meeting you in the interest of science. We? Yeah, that was a little strange. What does he mean, we? And Professor Bella Lugubius? Good evening, uh, morning, students. We have so much to learn from each other. Oh boy, science lab, one of my best subjects. Yeah! I made a really cool stink bomb last year. 
heartily the best use of your time in the lab. Shut it, nerd. Hello again, class. Ready to learn the basics of chemistry, potions, and alchemy? What's alchemy? Good question. Alchemy is the ancient science of turning one thing into another. I don't mean like tadpoles turning frogs, that's biology. Alchemy will take an ordinary thing and turn it into something else. To quote Shakespeare, a sea change into something rich and strange. Here's an example. I put this ordinary steel chain into the bowl. Then I pour over it my own alchemaic concoction. <laughs> Just something I cooked up in the lab. Now, Miss Wrightson, will you please remove the steel chain from the bowl? Whoa! That's awesome! Can I keep it? Uh, no. I'll hang on to that. In the interest of science, of course. Well, now I'm interested in science. Um, Dr. Jekyll? Yes, Mr. Coleslaw? Do you happen to know anything about lycanthropy? Ly what now? Lycanthropy. It's the medical term for werewolfism. Uh, yes, I, I know a, a bit. Oh, so it is a real thing. It is very real, I'm afraid. Have you ever encountered it? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to say. Perhaps we can discuss it another time. I like to say that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. For instance, if I were to take a drink of the alchemaic solution, who knows what would happen? But of course, I never would. Or would I? It might be interesting. Or catastrophic. Or there's one way to find out. No, you fool! You simpering academic. I forbid you! I salute you. dismissed. Go on. Uh, Mr. Jekyll, uh, that is Mr. Hyde, I mean, sir, I have a question. Get out! Uh -huh. Well, that was a weird class. Every class is weird here, but I'm never bored. Good point. But Marty, what was all that werewolf stuff about? That's what I want to find out. There's a monster loose on campus. There's definitely something funny going on here. But if it is a werewolf, who could it be? These attacks started right as the school year began. My money's on one of the new faculty members. What about Dr. Jekyll? Or Hyde? Or whoever? He was acting pretty beastly at the end there. And it seemed like he knew more than he was letting on. And what about that Bella lugubrious guy? He seemed a little spooky and a little cute. Let's keep an eye on him, too. What class do you guys have next? Drama with Bella Lugubrious. Us too! Perfect. Let's get to class, and I'll be sure to take notes. Nicodemus, clean up in hallway 13. Clean up in hallway 13. Blood and guts all over. Clean up in hallway 13, please. 
blood and guts again. Oh, what's this? A spleen? I'm excited for drama class. That new teacher, Bella Lugubrious, is so tall, dark, and weird. Good after, good evening. I am Lugubrious. Greetings, my little thespians. What did he just call us? It means afters. I have just demonstrated a dramatic entrance. You must always enter with great drop. Let's see what you can do. Dario, walk to the door and make an entrance. Well, that was uh, a choice, but it was certainly not an entrance. Take your seat. Now, Stella, you may show us how to make an entrance. Very good, very good. What charm, what grace, what an actress. What a drama queen. That was really great. Thanks. Don't worry, you'll get there. And what follows a dramatic entrance? A dramatic exit. I will demonstrate. My heart is breaking, but I must leave you. I must go. I depart now. Soon I will not be here, but forever. Until your dying day, you will not forget me. I pause. Very dramatic. And for one moment, I wait. I wait. Wait, what is this? The, the beast is attacking me. It bites my throat. Go. You all must go. Save yourself! <sighs> what a performance! What a drama! Oh no! It's Professor Lugubrious! That was no exit! That was the werewolf! Blood and guts, every day. All the time. I never seem to get ahead. What's this? <clears throat> ahead. Great. Oh, wait. I just did it. <laughs> I got ahead. Attention, all moon students. Attention, I know how frightened you must be following the tragic loss of Professor Lugubrious. Our school is in grave danger of closing permanently. I won't allow any further harm to come to our students or faculty. We are officially on high alert. Hush you. Uh, please proceed immediately to your home rooms where you will remain until dismissal. Good day. Well, that escalated quickly. It certainly did. What do you have there? I went to the library and found a bunch of books on old Carpathian legends and folklore. Cool. Where's the library? Right there. Behind the big city bike rack, the library is full of books and references and information. You can learn about anything in the library. Oh, right. I knew that. Remember, lycanthropy from science class? The medical term for werewolfism? It says here it's a genetic anomaly. What's a gymnastic monopoly? It's a metabolic process. It's an interruption in the circadian rhythm triggered by a physical phenomenon. I know the words you just said are English words, but... The full moon? 
and the effect lasts for three nights. Well, it was a full moon on Saturday the 28th. So if tonight is the 31st, it means we're in full <laughs> werewolf mode. Great. There's more. The only thing that repels the werewolf is a plant called wolfsbane. What about a silver bullet? That's what they use to stop werewolves in the movies. Oh, sure. We'll just hit up the local silversmith. You're fine. But we still don't know who the werewolf is. I'm thinking Dario had the right idea. Dr. Jekyll acted pretty ferocious after he took that alchemaic formula. Definitely. Let's go talk to Dr. Jekyll. I hope he's not hiding. <laughs> Mr. Hyde. Ms. Wrightson, Mr. Coleslaw, why aren't you in your homeroom with the others? We came to see what you two are up to. I don't think I know what you mean. Don't you? They seek the werewolf. That's right. We came to see if you were indulging in between meal snacks. Or maybe between meal students. You're the werewolf, aren't you? No, Miss Wrightson. I don't know who the werewolf is any better than you. I've been trying to find a way to change it back into its human form. Do you think that's possible? In theory, yes. If you have one of these. Wolfsbane? Exactly, my boy. I've been combining it with different potions here in my lab, trying to synthesize an antidote. But if you do come up with a way to reverse the werewolfism, won't you need to trap it? Great point. Don't worry, I have an idea. Dr. Jekyll, or Hyde, you keep up the science stuff. Marty and I have work to do. Of course, it's Ms. Hauntington. She's the werewolf? Think about it. It makes perfect sense. She came on just as the attacks began. Took over from Miss Mockingbird. What are you doing? We know what you did to Miss Mockingbird. Whatever do you mean? You killed her! Murder most foul. I always wanted to say that. Miss Mockingbird isn't dead. She's very much alive. Oh yeah? Then where is she? Right here. Come on, Miss Beach. Follow us. We have a plan. Stay back, Miss H. Ready, Marty? Ready? All because we plan the tangents and the angles and the probability. Right. What you said. Hey, look. That was Miss Mockingbird's favorite dress. She always wore it on the first day of class. Do you know what that means? That the werewolf is a drag queen? No. That means the werewolf is Miss Mockingbird. Yes. It's true. That disgusting beast is my sister, Tequila. Wait. Your sister's name, Tequila Mockingbird? Are you sure she's not a drag queen? It was one of my mother's favorite books. But how did this happen? Last year, after the school year was over, my sister and I went on a vacation to Transylvania. You know, Transylvania is lovely that time of year. One night, Tequila decided to take a drive in the light of the full moon and she ran into the legendary hag of the forest. 
So your sister was taking a nice ride through the forest, and the first person she met was the wicked witch of the woods. No, she ran into her with the car. I curse you! And now, at every full moon, the killer turns into this. But where has she been all these months? I keep her trapped in a tiny old room up in the attic of the school. Does anyone else know about this tiny hidden room? Only one other living person. My boyfriend. Your boyfriend? <clears throat> and when the horrible hunger for blood overcomes the beast, I satisfy it with the odd uh, bits and pieces I find around this place. How did she escape the attic? She must have gnawed through the solid iron bars with her nasty fangs. Well, now that we have her trapped, what do we do with her? I have it! I have formulated an antidote for the curse of the werewolf. It will reverse the process. I call it Werewolf Be Gone. But how do you propose to get it into that thing? We can't get any closer to it. Maybe we can help. Dario, Stella, we came to help. You certainly can. Throw this over the monster, and while it is confused, I will spray it with Werewolf Be Gone. Did it work? I have failed. My concoction didn't reverse the process. It simply minimized the problem. I have failed you, Miss Huntington. I can never forgive myself. No, it's all right. I always wanted a dog. And this one is so cute. I think I will call her Cujo. What has happened? Did I miss something? Professor Lugubrious, we thought you were dead. Oh, you're so cute. I mean, you're alive! You're alive! No, I, I am not dead. I am vampire. I am undead. Well, now that the curse of the werewolf has been lifted, I guess everything around here will get back to being abnormal. Cujo, I don't think we're in Transylvania anymore. Good night, all of you children of the night. And may all of your dreams be... Ah, uh, pleasant! <laughs>